For over 50 years, the Portland Japanese Garden has served as the rare place where one can be enriched, educated, and inspired all at once. I think my favorite thing about the garden is that it changes every season. And each time I visit the garden, I can see something new, something that awakens in me a new respect for the beauty or the season or the passage of time. It's a place where I feel every day offers a new vista. Now with our Cultural Crossing campaign, you have the opportunity to strengthen the garden's legacy and shape its future. This campaign and this project will really um, give the Portland Japanese Garden the ability to carry out its mission in a way that even in the first 50 years uh, we haven't been able to. The vision, an expansion plan that allows us to preserve the tranquility of the garden, expand our educational and cultural offerings, and embrace our role as an important partner in safeguarding Japanese garden arts and culture. I think uh, one of the, uh, the goals of the Cultural Crossing Project is really to uh, preserve uh, the tranquility of the existing garden. Um, we're seeing you know, in excess of 300,000 visitors a year now to the garden, and that has a toll on the physical garden itself. By incorporating new gardens, state-of-the-art educational facilities, and other cultural amenities, we can continue to improve the garden experience for visitors from around the world. To start, we will create a cultural village to host classes, community activities, seasonal festivals, and cultural outreach. It gives us a lot more capacity uh, in terms of the programs uh, and in terms of how we serve the community uh, best. Um, with that uh, comes more education space uh, and opportunities to interact with the community. Currently we only have one main pavilion that we do all of our activities in and this is going to give us in essence a cultural village in which to uh, perform uh, the work of our mission. By creating new space for these social and educational activities outside the garden itself, we can ensure that the garden's serenity is protected for future generations. Well, every place you go in Japan, when you go to a major shrine, the shrine is a very quiet, sacred place. And outside the shrine for a thousand years, pilgrims have been coming from all over Japan. So what were there for the pilgrims? They needed food. They wanted to buy souvenirs. They needed lodging. Um, they needed a tea house. So all of that liveliness has always happened outside of these uh, major cultural sites. And that's what I see as our cultural village. It's lively. It's where we have all the social and experiences that we uh, enjoy. And then we go into this very quiet, beautiful, reverent space. To fulfill our role as a partner in preserving Japanese cultural art forms, we will also establish the International Institute for Japanese Garden Arts and Culture. The concept for the Institute evolved out of an increasing awareness on our part of the deep connection between the garden and the culture that informs it. The mission of this facility will be to act as a steward for Japanese cultural traditions through a comprehensive educational program that's dedicated to furthering the knowledge of Japanese gardening and the related arts. Garden curator Sadafumi Uchiyama is a third-generation Japanese gardener with extensive expertise who is helping to shape this new educational model. We are this embarking onto this project to, as a sort of um, the place more than anything that people can come and see and learn and connect it with anything to do with the Japanese culture and art. And existing situation is that Either you read a book or you learn the language and you go to Japan and go through the traditional apprenticeship. So that's a pretty far apart. So the, what Portland is aiming at is we're exactly trying to get somewhere in between so that the, anything to do with the Japanese garden and culture, here it is, we have something for everyone. Through the Cultural Crossing campaign, we can build a strong, lasting future for Japanese garden arts and preserve an important cultural institution that means so much to so many. 
I think the, the Portland Japanese Gardens has always been a part of my life. I, I can't imagine or remember a day that, um, that it wasn't uh, coming here as a kid. Um, I do believe the support uh, for the garden reaches um, so many generations in my family. Uh, my grandparents were avid supporters. Uh, my father followed as well um, in those footsteps. And, uh, and it means so much for him coming from Japan to have, um, I think, a part of his world and where he came, came from in Portland, Oregon. Uh, and for me as well, you know, it's a place to come and be a part of my heritage, remember where uh, my family comes from and really kind of be, um, be a part of that whenever I want to be. Your participation in Cultural Crossing will help preserve the treasured Portland Japanese Garden and ensure that future generations can experience and be inspired by Japanese garden arts and culture. Join our community of supporters today to help the Portland Japanese Garden and its traditions thrive for years to come.